everybody, welcome to TPI Talk. My name is Carter Singleton and today we are at Russell Medical here to interview Dr. Matthew Knight. Um, Dr. Knight is one of the new general surgeons that just came on board at Russell Medical. So thank you Dr. Knight for taking some time out of your busy day seeing patients to come here and answer some questions for us. So like we pretty much start out every personal interview profile, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you grew up, your medical training and what made you decide to be a general surgeon? Oh yeah, sure. So um, I was born in Birmingham, but I mostly grew up in Texas. My family moved there when I was small. Um, so most of my schooling is from Texas. Uh, I went to Baylor University for undergrad, uh, for medical school, went to UT Houston. Um, for residency training, I actually came back to Alabama, went to South Alabama Mobile. Um, that's where uh, I met my wife and moved up uh, closer to the Birmingham area where she was and then now we're practicing down here. Well, we're very, very glad to have you. It's kind of unique to have two doctors that are married to each other, uh, much less two doctors that are as impressive as surgeons with the skills that y'all are bringing to the hospital. So I think that's great for our community um, to have you and your wife here. Yeah, we're excited. We're, we're glad to be here. So could you tell us a little bit about the types of surgical cases you perform? Um, what expertise and knowledge do you feel that you bring to Russell Medical? Well, I'm a board certified general surgeon. So basically what that means is I cover a wide breadth of surgical uh, procedures. So common things are like gallbladders, hernias. Um, we do breast surgery. Um, we, are, we can do colonoscopies and upper endoscopies as well. Um, we do thyroids, parathyroids. Uh, obvious skin lesions, that kind of stuff as well. So, um, your primary care doctor should know what we can take care of, and if not, they can get all of us more more than happy to help in any way we can. Absolutely. Could you tell us a little bit more about what it means to be a board certified surgeon and why that's important in making choices? Right. So, every general surgeon or every surgeon has to go through the process of going through residency. After you go through the process of residency and you graduate. Technically, you're allowed to go ahead and go out to the community and start practicing. Uh, board certification is the next step um, as far as ensuring that you met all the knowledge requirements and skill requirements in order to be out practicing. And usually, that takes that's done within the first year or two after you graduate from your residency program. So, um, not everybody passes. So, um, it's definitely a, a big accomplishment and something we're very proud of after we do it. So, almost a certification for for doctors, surgeons. It's, it's an extra level of certification, correct? Well, uh, some people might not know what it means when you see board certified or the FC or FACS behind it. Well, the FACS is actually different. It just means that you have to be board certified in order to become FACS, which stands for Fellow of the American College of Surgery. So um, that's just an extra level where the American College of Surgeons come in and certifies it, that you're a safe practicing physician. Thank you for sharing with us. Mm -hmm. So you're new to Alex City and kind of getting settled in. Right. Um, what has been your favorite part about moving to Alex City initially and what has your biggest transition been? Uh, favorite part is the lake, obviously. Uh, I, we bought a house on the lake, so we're here, we're local. Um, and I grew up in lakes mostly throughout Texas, but uh, it, it's, it's definitely great being back on the lake and just having that culture and, and, and the freedom to go explore all that. Um, sorry, what was the second part of your question? Uh, what, what's your biggest transition been? Oh, moving. <laughs> We're still in boxes in certain places, so it's it's, it's just it's tough trying to work and, and move into a new house and get everything set up and accomplish all those things at once. So it's just getting settled in is the main thing right now. Everything's going so great so far. I understand how you feel. I uh, recently started this new job as well and am closing on a house soon and about to move, and that's definitely not something that I'm looking forward to yeah. is having to move all my stuff up from Auburn. Um, what's the most unique thing that you've gotten to do in the area this summer or on the lake? Um, I don't know about, I haven't really done anything unique because I've been working a good bit, um, which is good. Uh, but my favorite thing to do is go out on the lake and just explore. Um, it's a new lake to me. My wife grew up on the lake, so she has areas that she knows very, very well, but it's all new to me. So I'm we're getting out on the boat and we're just cruising around everywhere we can and every day trying to find a new place in the water to, to explore. So um, we found the Peanut Point, we found uh, Big Beach, we're, 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 just, we're, mm -hmm. we're working our way down towards Kalaja as the further we can go here. Well that's great, I, I know that's a really, really good relaxing way to kind of take, take the edge off of the week, you know, spend some time out on the lake, outside, recharging with the sunlight and it's one, really one of the best things about our area. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful lake. 
So you're skilled in robotic surgery, and mm -hmm. Russell Medical has a Da Vinci robot. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us briefly about the benefits of robotic surgery and the types of surgeries generally performed with a robot? Right, so robotic surgery branched off of laparoscopic surgery, which basically means you're doing three things, normal surgeries through tiny incisions versus doing big open incisions like we used to do. Um, the benefits are obviously smaller incisions, so you're gonna have less post-operative pain, you should have less chance of bleeding, and with the robot versus laparoscopic, you end up having 3D vision because you actually have two cameras that offset slightly, just like the normal human eyes do, so you can actually tell depth uh, that you don't get that benefit from laparoscopic, as well as the instruments are wristed. So instead of working, like if I try to operate with you know, braces on my hands and all I can do is do this, now I can actually use my wrist to actually manipulate the instruments and it, it can perform more technical surgeries that way. Well, that's really exciting having robotic surgery in a, in a small town like Alexander City. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. It really, really adds a lot of value to Russell Medical. It was a big draw for us coming here as well because um, we enjoy it. It's definitely easier on the surgeons as well. Um, just with the fact you're not standing over the patient in a weird position. So we can actually, after we get everything set up, go back and operate in a very ergonomically sound environment, which doesn't fatigue us out as quickly as, as standing over patients. So. It's efficient and it makes it easier on Absolutely. your body. Absolutely. So you spoke about that was one of the things that kind of drew you to Russell Medical Center. What what are some other things that uh, drew you to Russell Medical? Um, obviously, there's just, there was just a big need for general surgery out here, which was something I was looking for. Um, we came from an area where we actually had too many surgeons for the population. Um, there just wasn't enough business to go around. So the fact that Alexander City was looking um, and there was nobody here other than a few people from UAB coming down to help put a stopgap measure on the general surgery program, we were excited that we could come in and be those full-time doctors to help take care of everybody here. Well, that's great. That's, that's really, really exciting. Um, now, patients, mm -hmm. what is your most memorable or heartwarming thing that has ever happened to you with a patient? See, I, I don't know if I, I know a, they're asleep most yeah. of the time. But. <laughs> See, most of my patients are asleep. Um, I don't know if I have a, a most memorable what I love about my patients, and that's probably the reason why I did general surgery, is whenever my patients come and see me, they're usually having a problem. And through surgery, I fix that problem. And most of the time, within a few days to a few weeks, and sometimes even immediately after the surgery, they're feeling better. When I get to see the smaller patients, when they come back and see me back in the clinic postoperatively, and the hugs they want to give me because they're feeling so much better, that's, that's the memorable stuff. Well, doctors are very important, and I know people can live with debilitating pain, and it can really, really be just a huge sigh of relief and je definitely something that improves the quality of life for a patient, especially having a great doctor that can help you with your problems. Absolutely. So if you had one thing that you could tell a child in the community that maybe wanted to be a surgeon, what would you say to them? Um, study hard. I mean, you can't become a doctor or a surgeon without not getting the grades to, to go to school. Um, that's the number one thing. Um, obviously, you're gonna need some technical, technical skills to be a surgeon, so good hand-eye coordination is important. So playing sports, I played sports growing up, actually playing video games, which most kids like to do, is actually beneficial as well. But the main thing is get the grades in. You, you gotta open that door before you can go anywhere else. Do you think that there's room uh, for growth in surgical programs as the population is increasing and we're kind of having a bigger need for surgeons? Do you think there's going to be more opportunities? Uh, I think so. Um, I think the the plan for us here locally is obviously to keep a lot more business here locally that we can now that we have full-time general surgery here. Um, as the population expands, you're always going to need more surgeons, just like you're going to need more doctors everywhere. Um, but I look forward to us getting busier here. Well, it, it is nice. I know um, I live here and my family is very close. They're in Eclectic, just right across the lake. Mm -hmm. And um, I can say that it would definitely be more comfortable for me or my family if I had to have surgery and being here right at home or my grandparents or my parents instead of having to go to an Auburn, a Montgomery, or a Birmingham. Oh, absolutely. We I, have the same capabilities here. Absolutely right. So if, if we're able to do it here, there's I, I, for a convenience family, for a convenience challenge for the patient, for the family members, and, especially for surgery, because you gotta remember most time for surgeries, you're having to be at the hospital five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, which, you know, can be very rough on not only the patient, but family members. So, um, from that standpoint, why not do it locally if you can? 
I, I agree completely. Well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of TPI Talk. Thank you, Dr. Knight, thank for you. spending some time with us out of your very busy day. And um, looking forward to seeing your practice grow and hearing more good things about you and from your patients. All right, everybody, thank you so much.